So today is going to be pretty clean, cut, sweet, and to the point. So got a few stories lined up for you. You can see them all right here somewhere. Uh, let's just get into it. Okay, so this first story isn't necessarily about virtual reality, but it kind of is. It, it's covering what Facebook is doing again when it comes to not respecting user privacy. But at the same time, they kind of are. Uh, it was recently found out that they were transcribing users' audio from the users of their messenger service. While they say they're not doing so anymore, it's kind of up in the air whether or not that's actually true. Um, however, they did in fact say that those that were affected specifically chose the option in the Messenger app to have their voice chats transcribed. So, some kind of voice-to-text service. The contractors uh, supposedly were checking whether or not the AI correctly interpreted the messages. The reason why this is actually going to affect virtual reality is the fact that Facebook is the overseeing company of Oculus, whose final, final co-founder just recently left Facebook within the last few days. So to top that off, it's very possible that the messages that you may be having with other users on Oculus could very well be transcribed themselves. It, because it's possible that the, the terms of service in the Oculus Store or any of a full number of operating, or operating systems within the Oculus headsets could very well have that little tidbit snuck in. So do keep an eye out, do read your terms of service, especially when it comes to Facebook. And that is basically all there is to it. I'll link the full article down in the description below so you guys can read it for yourselves. As far as, as, far as console news goes, we have a ton, like an absolute ton, to go over. First, when it comes to Xbox, Project Scarlet is going to get not only a ton of pretty pictures like 4K, 60 FPS, and a ton of graphical and processing power, like being able to load all of your games incredibly fast, uh, probably beating out the PlayStation 5 as we touched, as they tried to explain at the E3 meeting back in June. But also, they, in, they are planning on introducing a whole new form of backward compatibility when it comes to not, not just games, but also compatibility with your existing Xbox One controllers, and also cross-generational play. That's right. If you and your friend are playing, you're on, on Xbox One, your friend's on Scarlet, you're still playing together. No problem. Then when it comes to PlayStation, oh, almost forgot. As I've touched on on this channel previously, the Project Scarlet is expecting to get Oculus Rift S support when it launches, or soon after, not really sure when nicely, but that is something we can look forward to. But however, when it does come to Sony, there are a few things that we don't know specifically, like the release date, price, and maybe uh, specific launch titles that we may be able to expect, however, we can expect that information to be released to us on February 12th of next year at something called the PlayStation Meeting 2020, a special State of Play event. At it, they'll be giving us, like I said, a few first-party titles, third-party titles, information about the PlayStation 5, as well as the PlayStation VR 2, maybe. That, one's, that last one's just a rumor. However, it is likely to come up, and this, this page that I'm citing suggests that the 
VR hardware is expected to launch in 2021, something that I have also surmised other times on this channel, expecting either a 2021 or a 2022 release date, giving us a amazing, well, I wouldn't really say amazing, I guess, but we have like a, a tentative date. And as part of the PlayStation VR 2, one of the other things that we can expect is a pass-through screen. So you don't have to take off your headset in order to see what's going on around you. In addition to it being wireless for starters, as well as a better graphical display. So a clear upgrade in terms of hardware and, well, software, obviously as giving you a much better play, but it, it's still going to have to contend with the Oculus Rift S that Microsoft is planning to give us for Project Scarlet. I hope you guys are all enjoying Beyond Update for No Man's Sky, which recently brought virtual reality updates to the board game for free. However, there are a few things you do have to keep in mind. Like, for example, there are no plans for Hello Games to bring cross-platform play to the game. However, that being said, one of the things they do indicate is up to 32 player online, online play for up to 32 players. And on top of that, Windows Central put out their list of the best virtual reality game, or virtual reality headsets used for this update. The one they listed as the best overall is the HTC Vive. Give you the best overall experience if you've got some money laying around. But if you don't have quite so much, then the runner up there is going to be Oculus Rift S, which just recently launched back in May for $400. And, and finally, the best premium is going to give you the, is going to be Valve Index. While they are all impressive in their own right, the HTC Vive is going to give you a much higher refresh rate. It's going to be adequately priced. The Amazon link listed on the page has it at $499. And on top of that, there are external trackers allowing you for, uh, what, what's the word? Uh, precise controller tracking. That's the phrase. So hopefully you guys are able to enjoy that. But in the event that you don't already own it, there is still currently a sale going on for PlayStation VR as well as Steam VR up until at least through Tuesday for $25 on, on PlayStation or $30 on Steam. Or vice versa, I can't remember. But still, half off on both of those systems for the Nomad Sky and like I said, the Beyond update is absolutely free. So just get the game and you'll get the update for free. You'll be able to play in VR, have fun, play with it, and enjoy it. Oh, there are a few new games that are getting some PlayStation VR ports, both of which have been on Windows and Steam VR since, well, LA Noir has been on Steam. 2017 and Hasune Miku VR has been available on Steam since March of last year. So they're not new games by any stretch, but they are going to be new to PlayStation VR. And like I said, they are expected to be bringing all, all that type of stuff to PlayStation VR. However, at this point, I personally do not know any kind of release date schedule far as when we can find them. So they're coming to PlayStation VR and I don't know the details about 
when, but they do exist already on Steam. Finally, one thing that we do have to look forward to is a new form of interactivity. At the moment, the Valve Index is the only one that I personally know of that has widespread finger tracking or hand tracking of some significant value. Touch controllers do try to approach this, but they don't offer the same level of tracking that the Valve Knuckles, or the, the Valve Knuckles controllers do. However, a couple of companies are hoping to solve that. One of them goes by the name of Dexter Robotics. They provide, or they, have worked on designing a set of hand controllers, which you can see here, that end up giving us quite a bit more level, uh, or quite a higher level of interactivity with, with the games and software than has previously been recorded. They do this by providing, or by attaching a motor on the outside portion, sort of like an exoskeleton for your hand. And so doing, they end up providing uh, a level of tension when you attach or do anything in game that would make it actually feel, feel to your hand and your head, of course, that you're actually holding, gripping, or touching something simply because of that natural pull or push that the gloves would provide while wearing them. In fact, uh, one YouTube video that I found while researching this topic provided a, provided a video of, of one of the reviewers from Road to VR opening a water bottle with these things on. And, and all the way through, it seemed ridiculously natural for him. It's almost as though he just couldn't really get enough of it. But it, it was easy, it was quick, and just felt natural. It, it was amazing. However, one one of the only downsides to it is that they don't have a soft, a clear-cut software development kit for it. And that is the only real hindering block here when it comes to mass production and, obviously, mass adoption. If they are able to spread this and finish that software development kit, they would, that would allow for far faster adoption not only for consoles, but also for software developers. Giving us, and obviously that would end up giving us a, a little bit better variety when it comes to uh, touch sensitive games instead of just the Aperture Hand Labs demo that Valve put out when they launched the Valve Index. So hopefully we can see these things hit mass production at some point. But until then, they're just a hard word. If you guys are still here and you're feeling charitable in some way, you can activate that charity in a few different ways. The first one, you can go to humblebundle.com and pick out one of the bundles that they have for sale there. When you get one of these bundles, you're not, you're not only able to get some good software or books or games or what, whatever it is that you're, you're choosing but you're also able to support a charity of your choice. They have a few different ones available, so you don't have to feel necessarily tied down to helping children or animals. The, even though, well, animals are always a good one, aren't they? And then, if that is up your speed, I'm selling these headphones on Amazon. Link on screen. I personally use them. I really like them, and they've been working out really well for me. If that still doesn't really work out well for you I've got a link on screen also for my patreon well up here somewhere I, I don't know where I'll put it but you'll find it somewhere I hope probably maybe 
uh, I think this is a good place to end the video. If you guys liked it, let me know. If you hated it, let me know. And as always, don't forget to tell me how I'm such a horrible person for giving you all this news. Ta-ta for now.